Hey there, if you have any series of iPhone 5 like iPhone 5s, 5c or 5 and you're facing touch issues like touch and responsiveness or got stuck or maybe sometime your touch work or maybe sometime doesn't work at all. If that happens to you, don't panic because we got a good news for you because in this video we're going to go ahead and show you how you can easily fix that problem just by following two ways. Now, before we tell you the process, there are three things you need to be careful of. First up, make sure your iPhone display is not broken. If it's broken, all you gotta do, you gotta go to the Apple Care to fix it. Second of all, make sure your iPhone has at least 20% of charge to make it work, cause less charge sometimes causes these issues. And third of all, make sure your iPhone has a bit of free storage left on your iPhone so that it can work perfectly fine. So if you're completely unable to free up your storage at this point, you can simply follow our second process to free up your storage and fix your iPhone touch issues at the same time. Alright guys, after taking all of that, now all you want to do, just go ahead and press that your power button and that home button together just like that and keep holding it around 10 seconds as soon as you see your Apple logo appears on your iPhone. Now let's go ahead and release those as soon as you see that Apple logo appears. Now wait, unless your iPhone just start up. Alright guys, now after doing that process, if you see your iPhone works perfectly fine, then congratulations to you. Even after that, if it still doesn't work, the next things you want to do is simply want to put your iPhone into the recovery mode to fix that problem. So we have a dedicated video about that on how you can do that. We will give you the video link in the description below or you also can check that video in our playlist on our YouTube channel. After doing these two process, no matter how serious you got with your software issues, it will be fixed. But if it doesn't, like we said earlier, you gotta go to the Apple Care to fix your touch or display issues on your iPhone. Alright guys, these are the steps that you can use to fix your problem. Thanks for watching and see you next time.